question. What, 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 what's the soul? Where, where is the soul? They don't even know. They don't even care. Jesus. But yet God sent His Son to die for every soul Jesus. that lives for eternity. They're not worried about eternity. Man, that's later. Man, I got to, I'm, I'm partying hardy now. Baby. I'm getting down now. I'm not worried about later until later comes. And how many know later always come? Mm -hmm. That's right. Always come. Time don't wait for nobody. It always comes. Then it goes on to say, okay, so you got the lust, you got the pleasures, living in malice. You know what malice means? When you look it up in the Greek, come on, let me lay a little Greek on you. Amen. When you when you look it up, it means hateful, spiteful, ugly, mean. Thank God nobody like that here, is it? <laughs> Whew, envious, that means jealous. You're jealous of every Tom, Dick, and Harry that walks around. You're jealous of everything. Jesus. Then it says hateful. I, I ain't making this up. Look, there it is. Titus 3.3, 3. read it for yourself. Hateful. Hating one another. He said sometimes you did foolish things like this. But now, glory be to God, Jesus. now, being you're supposed to have a new heart, New mind, new way of talking, new way of walking, new way of thinking, new way of acting. Glory be to God. Behold, all things become new. All old things have passed away. All things have become brand new in Jesus Christ. We don't do these things no more. Amen. Do we? Amen. You're still cussing and fussing and lusting and, 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 and all these other things and having pleasures of life and showing malice and hatred hidden down deep. You ain't saved. You heard me right. You ain't saved. Say people don't act like that. That's right. mm -hmm. Babes in the Lord don't act like that. Did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. Man, when I first got saved, I was a babe. I didn't know nothing about nothing. You think I'm kidding? I, I didn't know I, I, I called Job Job. I mean, because that's how it's spelled. I mean, I didn't know nothing about the Bible, nothing about Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I didn't know nothing. But I, but I had the Holy Ghost in me. You know what? He revealed to me that my character had to change. So you will stop cussing. You will stop smoking, drinking, fussing, and running around. You will stop. I didn't have to have a billboard with lights on. It just bared witness with my soul that these things were wrong now. Amen. When that's all I lived to do. I lived to be high on something. Not just drugs. Anything that turned me on. It's a high. And all of a sudden, just like that, overnight. Overnight. It changes. So don't tell me something like that. Fine again now. I've been fine again with the devil on my back. Fine again trying to get rid of this habit. Fine. It's going to be another five you keep acting like that. Jesus. Lay it down. Kick it down. Keep it down. Stomp it down. Beat it down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Greater is he than you than he that's Amen. in the world. Is that right? Amen. No, the problem in between you and, the, and God is the flesh. That's all it is. It's the flesh. My flesh is craving that stuff. Mm -hmm. My flesh wants that. won't give it up. And you'll take it to hell with you if you don't repent over it. Come on, somebody. Because right. that ain't no straight and narrow road. What did he say? Few will find it. Work hard to get in. Strive. We give up. We stop striving sometimes. Oh, I'm saved now. Hallelujah. Woo, I'm saved now. I've got this. I speak in tongues. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, listen, man. I've been witnessing to people. I've been talking to people about Jesus. I got this. You know, but your personality and your character doesn't change. All you've learned to do is be religious. All you've learned to do is a few scriptures from the Bible. All you've learned to do is play church. Jesus. It's still on. I know it's working. Yes, amen. See the difference? Come on, that's a difference. Mm -hmm. yes. What am I doing today? I'm trying to make sure you're ready for Christ. Yes, ready for His coming because that's the next thing on God's holy calendar. Amen. Stop playing with it. Stop. You can't, Bible say, can a man take fire to his bosom and not be burnt? Can you walk on hot coal and not be scorched? You're playing with fire. You either got it or you don't. And it's for whosoever will. Ooh, I'm nobody special. You hear what I'm saying? I'm nobody special. God loves every one of us. But He's going to bless those who bless Him and live for Him. 
You're going to find favor with God to those that trust Him and say, Lord, I love you and you're more important than this. That's crippling my walk with you. You're more important. I love you more than that, which is hindering me from getting to the next level. My God, my God. Is anybody, I don't know about you, but I, whoo, glory be to God. I can't hardly wait to hear what the Holy Ghost is going to say next. Yes, Lord. This ain't no time to play. Amen. It's time to get right and stay right. Amen. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 4 and 5 talks about how people in the last days will be uh, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. He says, having a form, oh, now you know what I'm talking about, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Don't hang with them. Don't fellowship with them. Minister to them, but don't fellowship with them. They're religious, but lost. They're talking about Jesus, but they ain't living Jesus. What did he say? Who they love pleasures more than the lovers of God. Having a form, they look like it, they act like it, they talk like it, but they're not the real deal. Mm, they got all the church language down, but they're not the real deal. Mm. It says they deny the power thereof. Too many churches, too many pastors, too many preachers, too many ministers, too many church folks lost their authority in the communities and in the, in the country and the world. Because they got lukewarm. Because they got the form of godliness, but denied the power thereof. Jesus. They wanted to, the, the more preachers now are becoming more politically correct than biblically correct. God help us. While people, multitudes and multitudes on their way to hell. I'll show you that in a minute. Praise the Lord. Where we at there? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ooh, because I've been known to get a little bit carried away. Thank you, Jesus. Hey! I'm going to get carried away. I'm going to get carried away in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. They've lost their authority. Jesus said it like this in Revelations. He said, wake up. Talking to the church. Talking to the body of Christ. Why, why, why would you wake somebody up? Because they're sleeping. Jesus. Sleepwalking. Wow. Spiritual sleepwalking. He said, wake up. Listen. <clears throat> Strengthen that thing which remains. Very little. In some cases it remains. He says strengthen that. Strengthen your weaknesses. Strengthen it. Wake up. Because I'm coming soon. He said wake up and strengthen that which is left. Paul said it like this. Wake up. Same thing. Wake up from out of your slumber. Your sleepiness, your drowsiness. Wake up out of your laziness. Is what he's saying. Wake up <clears throat> out of being <clears throat> lukewarm. Come on, somebody. He says, because your salvation is nearer now than when you first believed. That means Jesus is right around the corner, church. Woo, glory be to God. Listen. Something's missing on the inside. <laughs> Some people in churches. And that's something that's missing on the inside is the power of the Holy Ghost. And I'm not talking about just talking in tongues. I love talking in tongues. And I hope you're talking, to, but I'm not talking about that. That's just one kind of little power. I'm talking about the power of the Holy Ghost to be bold as a lion, to witness to, for Christ's sake, not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it's the power on the salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Fill with the Holy Ghost. That, you're, that you can go out and do the Lord's bidding. Amen? Amen? That's what you're supposed to have. That's what's missing in a lot of Christians today. I hope you're the real deal. <clears throat> I hope you, I know, And I know that some of you are. Not everybody. But I know some of you love the Lord. With all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. But some, way you slip, some, some have slipped along the way. Some have crossed over to the other street. They've, they've left the straight and narrow for the broad and wide. I don't have enough time to tell you about all the ones that I've seen switch streets, only live to regret it. And sometimes they never did find their way back. 
Don't play with God. Can God count on you? Can God count on you? Are you a person of your word? Mm -hmm. Too many play in church. Joel chapter 3 verse 14. This is why we don't want to play church. This is why you got to be the church. Multitudes, multitudes, he said, are in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is, at, is near in the valley of decision. People have not made a decision yet to serve God. They're still sitting on the fence. Still looking at their options. Still not quite ready yet. Oh, I gotta still sow my wild oats. I gotta do my thing, then I'll come to Jesus. Some of them never live that long. Mm. Be not deceived, God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Most people don't know where that broad and wide road leads. That's why as preachers, we don't need to stand here and stroke your flesh and preach smooth things that make us feel good. We don't want to preach you under the chair either. You know what I mean? To put you under guilt and condemnation. But if you're under conviction, hallelujah! Amen. Because that's why Jesus and Paul said, wake up! Wake up! You sleeping people. He said, wake up before it's too late. Hallelujah. The devil blinds a lot of people. Don't let him blind you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Stand with me as we begin to close. <coughs> mm. How do we serve God? How do we get there? How do we stay on that straight now? By faith and by being faithful. By faith and by being faithful. By crucifying our flesh. That's how we do it. Not giving in to the pleasures of life, but into the Spirit of God. And yes, it is easy when you surrender all. The struggle is when you don't surrender everything to Jesus. Ooh, hallelujah. Because only the straight and narrow is paved in closing with the blood of Jesus. Only the straight and narrow road is paved with God's mercy and His grace. Only the, 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 the straight and narrow road is paved with God's forgiveness. Thank God there's still breath in our lungs. If we're not right, we have time to get right. Because it's still paved in the blood. If we need to pray a prayer of repentance, rededication, commitment, recommitment, let's do it now. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, Forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Save my soul. Make me whole. Lord, keep me from the hour of evil and temptation. Keep me on that straight and narrow path that leads to eternal life. I pray it. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Him for that straight and narrow. Praise Him for the blood. Hallelujah. Praise Him for the blood. Glory to God. Woo. You made me sweat today. My God, my God. God bless you. We love you. Enjoy your food and fellowship.